I haven't posted a video in a little while, but I want to show you guys my solar generator version two. And this came about because a good buddy of mine, Mike, was looking for a solar generator solution. And he went to a big box store and looked at what they had. And they presented him a solution that was, you know, like five or six thousand dollars. And I said, hey, Mike, I think I can build you something way better for way cheaper. So um, I'm going to rebuild mine just like this and do a much more detailed video of the build. But I just want to show you generally what I did, how it runs and what it's capable of. So um, let's start with input, how to charge it. So come on over here. So Mike bought four of these solar panels from me used they're 250 watt panels and um he's got four of them the charge controller can't handle them all plugged in in series so we're doing two in series and um two in series and then we're parallel them together with these connectors and then each one of these connectors i put in line 15 amp fuses just to protect the system so Right now it's charging the battery with six or seven amps with just one solar panel. So once he gets four solar panels plugged in, it ought to be able to dump, you know, the full 40 or 50 amps that the charge controller is capable of. So the other way that you can get power into the battery is an AC input. Can you get a shot of that? So I can plug any AC cord in. So this can be in the basement charging or plugged into a generator charging or just plugged in and maintaining until you need it. So there's an AC charger in here that I'll show you. I decided to build it in these DeWalt T-Stack toolboxes because one, the battery fit in there really, really well. And two, it's modular, we can add things on it. So down here is the main battery unit and charge controller. And then up here is the inverter. So I'm going to go ahead and take the inverter off so I can show you what's down inside of it. So I unsnap these. And I'll show you the inverter here in a second. I can set that aside. The, the other thing is the battery is really heavy. So I chose to do the batteries modular, which I'll show you. So inside of here... I have the charge solar charge controller and the doggy, which is a Renogy Rover charge controller. I believe it's the 60 amp module. It takes the solar, puts it into the battery. Down here is the heart of the unit. Can you see that, Katie? There's a lithium iron phosphate battery down here. It's a 24 volt, 2.4 kilowatt hour battery lithium iron phosphate chemistry because so the batteries are so heavy i made the system modular two batteries in that one box which it wouldn't have fit anyway it would have weighed over 100 pounds so i decided to have the second battery as a modular unit. so it just connects with these anderson plugs and right now i'm just going to power the system with the second battery because I want to charge it up. I don't want to charge the other battery because it's already full. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the breaker here. Solar is off. Battery one, which is in the box, is off. I'm going to flip on battery two, which is the auxiliary battery over here. All right, you can hear the system coming on. In fact, the cooling fans already came on. I have a system over here that has a thermometer that'll turn the cooling fans. There's intake and, and exhaust fans. Um, and now let's turn the solar on. And the solar we can view through um, a BMS on the battery and, and a Bluetooth app. So the 24 volt charge controller goes into a um, converter down to 12 volt goes into a fuse box and then on the outside I have some 12 volt controls here let me show you 
So a couple switches. Top switch turns on an LED light on the inside so you can see in here if it's dark. And then the bottom light turns on these little LED lights, which allows you to, you know, see in the dark if you need to set something up you're probably going to be setting this up when there's a power outage so it might be nice to have some lights and then there's a dc output station here you can turn on or off and you got usb chargers charge your phones and then like a, I call it a cigarette lighter charger but a dc anything to plug in there fridges coolers whatever the system will will handle that um so that's the bottom unit and then the other output would obviously be your ac output which is in this box so you can use the t-stack system and clip these on here and come around the back katie so the inverter and the auxiliary battery hook into the main system through these um, 100 amp Anderson connectors. I don't think this system will ever be pushing 100 amps, but um, that's the connectors I used. All right, let's look at the inverter. All right, so I decided to go with a 3000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. I've used these in my uh, system before and they've worked well and this should handle everything that uh, Mike needs to run his goal is to run a freezer a fridge so the inverter obviously hooks to the battery over here with this side and then on this side it has can you see that it has two AC output plugs and then I just cut the end off this extension um, surge protector and wired it into the um, the high draw outlet. This is a pretty heavy duty extension cord. So they've got two plugs here, and then they've got this that's Velcroed on the top that can go wherever it needs to go to, to charge whatever. Sum it up with some specs. So once he has all of his solar panels hooked up, he'll have a thousand watts of solar which will charge that thing in just probably both batteries in in less than a day if it's sunny uh, with the batteries one battery is 2.5 kilowatt hours meaning it would run let's just say a hundred watt light bulb it would run a hundred watt light bulb for 25 hours um, both batteries together I think it comes out to 5.1 kilowatt hours so it should be plenty enough to run what he needs at night and so he can recharge it during the day uh, 3000 watt AC inverter and then of course I did the little 12 volt station just it's just more efficient to charge things DC rather than convert them from AC and then back to DC so anyway I'm going to do a detailed video of all the parts when I rebuild mine. Uh, Mike's coming to get this today. This, in my opinion, should work way better than, than a gas generator. I think it'll do everything he needs for probably two or three days without being recharged. And even on a cloudy day, 1,000 watts of solar is going to recharge the system. Plus, if he wants to, you can get a generator and, and charge this thing through the AC port on the generator. So... It's quiet there's no fumes you can put this in your house your neighbors don't know you're running it your neighbors don't know you're the only one on the block with power so again if anybody uh, is interested in one of these I'd love to help you build one but uh, Mike's coming to get it today we're gonna do some testing I'm hoping he'll uh, let me know the results and we'll see how long it'll run his his uh, most important item so anyway Thanks. Subscribe to the channel. Hit like. And um, hopefully you like the solar generator.